Hello guys, you're welcome to today's uh, tutorial. In case you don't know already, my name is Michael. You're welcome to my channel and if you're a returning viewer, you're welcome back. Okay, today I will be talking about Emacs and how to work with Emacs. So I'm going to follow the objectives that have been set out by ALX, okay? Uh, this video, I'm not doing it to share answers to you, okay? Rather, I'm making this video because I want to teach you what you ought to know okay so it is expected that at the end of this video you should be able to execute and achieve every project that is given to you by alx so please stick with me on this video and we are going to take it one after the other okay so if you take a look at the alx um, objectives you will notice that they have uh, the objectives that we need to cover which is emax okay Alright, so uh, this is something that we also need to know. So, what is so in this video? I'm not going to cover most of the theories, but the practicals. Alright, MX is something you can read up, but just know in a simple man's uh, understanding that MX is just a text editor. Okay, MX is not a programming language. I know most people will be asking if, if MX is a programming language. MX is just a text editor. Okay, so you use it to edit text. All right, uh, and when they ask you to know who Richman, who Richard Storman is, I think this came into relationship with Emacs because Richard actually is an American uh, uh, software activist actually that was always campaigning to find a way of making softwares uh, free so that its users can have the ability to either edit, study, and still use uh, the the software while also still customizing and changing it okay like emacs this particular thing was also applied to emacs and emacs on its own is a text editor that is customizable you can use it for virtually almost anything okay you can use emacs for anything actually so you can just read up these ones for yourself so we'll be looking at these other uh, objectives here one after the other okay we're looking at them one after the other so that we can we are not i'm not going to make the video too long and i'm going to just move straight so uh how do we open and save files now before i look into these other objectives and start solving uh the questions or the task i would like us to look at some few concepts okay let's look at some few concepts now there are certain things that you definitely need to note in this video or when because when you are reading or when you are studying this thing on Google, you are going to be seeing things like C dash some no, some letters following it. Okay. Just know that C that C it's a command actually, but it, it means control. So how do you access this C in your uh, in Emacs on your PC or even on your phone? It's called the control command, it's just control. So if you're on your if, if they say you should do something like for example when you see something like cx c dash x it simply means you should press ctrl x okay like pressing down the control key and then hitting the x key all right so that is just what it simply means you shouldn't get it confused all right this is just the meaning so c in mx simply refers to control key on your keyboard all right then uh we have the cx CS, uh, this is another uh, example I gave you. So it simply means you should press Ctrl X, then press Ctrl S. All right, like holding down your Ctrl key, press X, and then still holding down the Ctrl key, you press S again. So it's kind of uh, a, a combination of uh, keyboard commands that is going to execute certain function. Okay, then we have another one again called M. You also see these things very often. M is refer is usually called the meta key, okay. But if on your laptop on your Windows PC you see it as Alt, it is actually the Alt key. But if you don't have the Alt key on your keyboard, you can still access it using your Escape key, okay. So you can actually uh, use Alt or Escape to access this. Why I'm saying all these things is because in a situation in, in real life um this like i said earlier this video i'm not doing it because I'll, i just want to teach you how to solve the problem i want you to understand the concepts 
okay because in real life if you are given something okay i do one thing one thing now on emacs how do you go about it so these are the things you need to know you don't necessarily start typing cx something something inside emacs rather you just use this shortcut command that i'm mentioning so m refers to alt or escape key or it's also called the meta key so another example now is when you see something like mw it means you should press alt and then the w key you understand so pressing down the uh, the alt key or maybe pressing down the escape key and then followed by the w key so that is that all right then um we have something else again that we need to still look at the buffer okay so uh when you are working with emacs you definitely have to be working with buffers and what is a buffer buffer in emacs is simply uh and editing is just a memory just see it as a memory okay in it's just an editing object or you can call it a memory that have distinct names it holds text that you can actually edit and you can actually edit you can actually do any alteration in any portion of the buffer for instance let's say that you are opening a file called opening or maybe you're opening a file called uh, hello all right now when you open this file it opens the content of that file is loaded in what we call a buffer and it is only in that buffer that you can make your edits it's inside that buffer you can delete you can also uh, edit you can insert text you can edit, you can remove text and when you're talking about editing a, a file or when you're talking about editing text there's not it's not a big time okay when you're talking about editing a file it's not a big time editing simply comprises of either you are deleting something or you are inserting something new that is editing insert something or delete something all right so that's editing so this can happen in any portion of the buffer then when you are done you can just save the buffer and that file is automatically saved okay so that is it so let's learn some new terms in emacs because uh we are going to be looking at this so when you are talking about some new terms here you can see that we have cut copy now why am i teaching this because here uh i noticed that they also said some of the requirements here you must know at least how to cut and paste lines in regions okay and you must know how to mark and point or uh, uh, to set the region so these terms might get confusing to some people i'm trying to explain it now okay so um in emax to cut simply means to kill okay that's the term in mx to kill if you're reading their documentation you see this thing a lot killing and yanking so cut means kill copy means kill ring okay like save to the kill ring okay now when you cut the ring is just like the the ring is just the uh the clipboard like in your in your windows in your windows pc when you copy a file when you do ctrl c to copy a file on your windows pc whatever thing you have copied is stored in what we call a clipboard that clipboard is also a memory on its own it is stored inside that clipboard and from that clipboard you can recycle what you have copied now when you do cut it means that you are trying to uh you, you are copying you are getting a copy of that particular text that has been highlighted moving it to your clipboard and then deleting it from the point or from the region where it is originally now when you move your cursor to somewhere else you can paste this same text and when you paste this text it is being recycled again from the clipboard into that particular point where your cursor is now also take note that cursor in emacs is referred to as points okay cursor means points that now you see that will be blinking that's actually the point that's what we mean by point it's called the cursor okay so clipboard means the kill ring while paste means to yank so when you say a uh, kill and when you say yank that is what it means although in this particular tutorial i'll be making use of the most conversant word or terminology that you already know which is the cut copy and paste okay so we have the alt here i've already explained this that alt simply is the meta okay it's just usually the meta and all of that so and then the selected text itself is now what we call the region bounded by the cursor point and the mark okay so when you select a text that particular text that is selected is what we call the region 
you understand this now i believe you understand this the text that you select is what we call the region okay the that particular position where your cursor is that cursor is called the point to cut it is called to kill and to paste it is called to yank you understand so that is just the tense please this should stick to your head while you work with emax and then there are some commands also that we'll be looking at in order to copy and paste in emax and some of these commands are <coughs> Some of these commands is Ctrl W when you want to cut. Normally in your Windows, when you want to do your normal cut in Windows, it's usually Ctrl X, right? Ctrl X. Okay, so you can see I even put it as no. So you see, like it's like Ctrl X in your Windows, but in Emax, the shortcut form now is Ctrl W. Ctrl W. I will still refer to this particular slide later in this video. And when we'll be working, I'll be referring back to them. So, but we have the kill ring save. Uh, that is to copy selected text. That is Control C. Kill ring save means kill it from the region and save it. So that means it is not deleting it from that uh, particular uh, point where your cursor was. It's not being deleted. The text that you highlighted, that's the region you copied, will remain in that same region without being deleted but a copy of it will be kept in the ring unlike when you do kill region means it copying it and then it is killing the ring like it's terminating that particular region that text will no longer be there like i said region is the selected text remember that okay then we have uh, the yank that is uh, to copy cy that is control y if it is in your windows you can refer to it as control v but in mmax it is no longer control v rather it is now control y so when you press Ctrl Y on Emacs, you are going to put this. You are going to paste back what you copied into the uh, ring. Okay. Then uh, some of us too might be wondering how to access the menu bar. Fine. You can access a menu bar in Emacs using F10. Let me not. Let me just cut most of these talks uh, short and let's move into working with Emacs. So I'm going to start up a terminal. Normally, uh, what I would like doing most of the time is get to the projects. I've already done these projects, uh, some of them, but I'm going to redo them again just for the sake of this uh, video. So what I normally do most times is to, like, let me just get started with this first one, for instance, now. What I normally do is get a sandbox. So when you click on this place, there are two ways you can access this sandbox. Normally, you click on this web, term on this web terminal, which means you want to open the terminal on the window on another tab in your browser okay so but what i understand and what i observe with this windows terminal with this browser terminal is that there are certain shortcuts that i want to press something like control space it does not work because the 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 browser i'm using here is opera browser and when i press this command it kind of uh gets like the opera the opera actually interprets it as its own shortcut so it's kind of a collision of command so i prefer to work with external terminal so i'm going to use uh, this particular credentials here to connect all right so i want to have connected i will close this so let me just i've already copied my credentials so i'm going to open up a terminal okay so when i open up a terminal here i'm just going to connect to this sandbox this sandbox i'll connect to it using um ffh if you don't know how to connect to terminal using ffh please check up a video that I, I dropped already there's a video that i dropped though that was telling you how you can use ffh to connect uh, using uh, juice and also using the thermox on android phone probably i'm going to do another or you can just even see it here and i'm making i'm connecting ffh so ffh then you passing your your username that's how it is done your username okay at then you pass in the host that is the host name and hit enter it's going to prompt you for a password once it is able to establish it prompts you for the password so which i'm going to supply the password here and then hit enter and automatically this should connect me to the uh so you can see i'm i'm currently connected now okay 
now i'm connected to the to the shell to this our sandbox so for you to see that i'm actually connected and i'm using an external terminal i'll just say ls so that i will list out everything within this place so notice that i'm still having my all those things you could see i have the roots and i have the time i've already done this thing before so i'm going to navigate into the root navigate into roots and if i do ls from here now you are going to see that i've already created the folder called ms i believe all of us still knows how to create a, a folder because we have already covered this in the previous video which i i dropped earlier where I, I was talking about the linux command and all of that so i'm going to navigate into this ox02 currently so cd now for you to create this uh folder is very easy now that i'm inside uh, the root folder just do your mk mk directory that is make directory and then pass in the name of the folder you want to create that's all hit enter and you create this so i've already done that i'm going to just move in cd 0x 02 underscore mx oh let me move back 0 2 okay hit enter so right now i'm within this mx folder and everything everything that they want us to do is within this space this is already done because i've created this so the next task here is to create the opening i've already created this opening let me see what and what i have inside here i think i deleted some of them anyway so if i do ls within this place you notice that i have uh opening i have uh hatch saving and i have saving and i have cutting this is because i was playing around with so many things here later on so i'm going to remove uh some of these things okay let me remove hatch saving and i'm going to also remove hash opening don't mind me i'm just trying to keep my my stuff clean oh okay okay fine oh i made a mistake hatch opening hatch and this other one is hatch saving hatch let me just delete it i don't want them here again sorry for that i actually so to clear my screen on this time i'll just say ctrl l to clear my screen so let me just start afresh again uh, if I list out everything ls so now is clean I only have cutting opening and saving so now work begins I believe you already know how to create uh, this opening they said that you should create a folder that's the first task so they said write the answer into the file the question is what is the command to open a file from within emacs and then they said you should write the answer into the file and this is the file opening i've already done that and for you to do this for you to do this all you need to do is simple the you can just use echo to just create the file and write the answer into that file or immediately so by just saying echo and you know the answer is cx cs this is actually the answer to how to save a file then you, you pass this greater than sign that greater than sign means you want it to you want this particular text that i have written now to actually be stored in a file called opening so when i do this and hit enter it is going to though the opening is there already so when i hit enter let's see what happens and if i do ls again there's no difference because i've already created it now if i want to be sure that what i have written is is, is inside that place like I told you earlier, you can actually view a file easily by just using less. Okay, just type less and then the opening. But this is going to open the file in a read-only mode. So when I hit enter, you can see that I have CX CS. This is actually inside that place. So I exit. I will exit this uh, environment by just pressing Q, and I'm back. Okay. So when you open it, when you actually view a file using the less command to to leave that area just hit the q key on your keyboard q okay um so i'm going to move to the next one so this opening is there already so they said write the answer into the file what is the command to save a file and 
the command to save a file i have already shown you you see what i did here if you know the command just write it and then put in the name of the file where you want to save it they said we should write the answer and save it in a file called saving now something to note please always make sure just for you to be able to complete this particular task successfully it is better you are always within this directory this ox02 underscore mx always be there please always be in this directory while executing any command that you're executing so that you don't have to be typing too much that's one tip i will give you okay that's one tip i'll give you so that is on this now uh just type in that that particular answer the answer to this particular stuff is i've already done that so i'm not going to do it again so if i say less saving let me just view the file because i've already written the answer the answer is cxcs so this is what you are going to type just follow exact same command that i showed you earlier just the way i write it here so instead of the cxcs you just write that uh, cx sorry let me see what did i even do yeah this is this command is actually to save it's actually to save not to open a file sorry if you want to open a file this is going to be a uh, cx uh, cf this is even wrong so i'm i'm going to clear the screen and when you want to clear the screen you just hit control l and the screen is cleared so i'm starting afresh again ls and I, I see that I have all these things written uh, within this place, cutting, opening, and saving. But nevertheless, I'm going to uh, retype. I'm going to retype what is inside this place. For you to open a file, okay, you are going to use the cxcf command, okay? The cxcf command. So by the time I do cx, I'll just type it like this, echo, first of all, echo, then cx cf my system don't let me to be faster than you then put this and then pass it into the opening and hit enter now the opening is already existing so no new file will be created but if i view what i have inside this place you now you see that i have uh let me open it i'm just trying to view it in the read only mode and you see that i have cxcf as a command inside there to quit here you press q and you come back to your command prompt now let me be sure that what I have done is correct. I will try to check my code again. And then I will save that. Start a new test. And let's see. My code should be running perfectly because I did the right thing. Okay. So you see that I passed the text too. Okay. So the same thing is what you do for the saving. So to save a file or to open, to save a file that is open in Emacs, the shortcut or the command to do that is c x c s you already know that so you're going to follow this same method that i just showed you up here to answer that question number two so you just do echo c x c s and then pass it and put in the name of the the name of the file which is the saving and it is going to be saved today the reason why i don't want to write this code is because i want you to test this thing now to be sure that you understood what i just did you can do this whole thing that i'm doing within the same terminal you don't need to be closing and reopening terminals just do it the same in the same terminal okay fine so uh you do the same thing for cutting they are all the same thing number one number two number three is actually the same thing so follow the same procedure that i showed you to do that okay so now we come to paste in this so what is the command to paste write the answer into the file okay so for you to paste a file within uh for you to paste there's a command and like i told you pasting means yanking all right pasting means yanking so uh for you to paste in mx you are going to use the command you are going to use the command control y that's how you that's how you you paste okay control y that's the yanking that is c dash y so let me return to my terminal now i want to show you another way you can actually create a file if you don't want to use this method okay you can actually create a file by opening emac itself and typing that particular command right inside that file 
So the file is not here already, and they said we should create a file called Pesting. So I can simply just say Emacs and then Pesting. Okay, and when I hit enter, Emacs is open. Okay, Emacs is open and see what I have inside Emacs. I'm going to delete this thing here. This is not what I want. So I'm going to just type in the answer, which is C, Y. Okay, and then how do I save? Now, why I want to show you this is because currently I am right inside the Emacs. So enough of theory. We are inside Emacs now. You can see that my terminal now has some options here. The file, the edit, the option, the buffer, tools and help, right? But mind you, sometimes you find out that it is, it, it is not possible for you to even click. Like it's not clickable because this is a terminal. You can't use the cursor to click on this option. So how do we assess these options here? You can assess this option by hitting F10. F10 is the shortcut to, to, to enter those options you are seeing up here. So to enter it, you just hit F10. So when I press F10, you see that I'm now on the file. Then with, using your, your arrow key, left and right, you can toggle within edit, options, uh, buffers, and the rest of them, right? So let's take a look at what we have inside the file. You can see that we have visit new file, which is CXCF. The answer is there. Okay. Uh, open directory, CXD. That is open directory. Insert a file, CXI. Save a file is cxcs, right? And all of these commands. You can even learn some of the commands from these options we have here, right? So when I come to this edit here, you have the, the options to undo, which is cx and u. To cut, cw. To copy is mw. To paste is c-y. And the rest of them. So you can see that you can even learn these things by yourself if you are working directly inside Emacs. All you need to do is just hit F10 and you can assess the options there and do it. You don't always have to carry things on your head, right? So I'm coming back to the file. I want to just save this thing now. So I'll save it. I'll just save and I'll hit enter. So this file is saved now, right? It's saved. And if you take a look at the bottom of this terminal, you find out that it's actually saved within Pesting. That's because I've already created the file on the go. So I can quit. I can I can kill this buffer now. I can even decide to open another buffer if I want to. I will show you how because uh, if you take a look at the objectives we have here, they say that at the end of this training, you are supposed to at least know how to, what a buffer is and how to also move around the buffer. Okay? What is a buffer and how to switch from one buffer to the other. So I'm going to explain to you what buffer is. Like now, you can see the buffer. This is the active buffer now, which is pesting. Okay. Now I want to open a new file. And which file am I going to open? That file is not even created, but I'm going to open a new file here called um, called. Okay, let me even check my code. I have not even closed that, thing, but let me check my code. So I'm going to test a new. So if I test it, let's see. Let's see if the file is there, if it is existing. And if the answer I put inside there is correct. Now you see that it is correct. Remember, it is correct. I have not closed my terminal. Even the file is still open. But the fact that I have saved this file, that means my checker is able to find it and I'm correct. So I'm good to go. Now I want to open another file. So what is the command to search forward? All right. What is the command to search forward? Write the answer into the file. Okay. So I can... And the file that we are going to open is session, right? Now I'm going to show you something. This is a buffer now, right? I'm going to open another buffer using the command cxcf. Or you can just hit your F10 if you have forgotten the command. You can hit your F10 and use a visit new file, which is cxcf. Hit enter on it. And it is going to now ask you, if you take a look at this bottom here, we are still within the folder called oxo 2 underscore mx. So I want to find a file called um, Session, right? I think that's the name they gave us. Yeah, Session. So I'm opening Session, even though I don't have Session already. By the time I hit Enter, Session is open. All right. I can type the answer or anything I want within this place. And I can equally navigate within this place. So this is another buffer I just opened. It does not mean that I have closed the other buffer. 
Like I said, Ufa is just a memory or an object that holds an editable content, right? And take a, understand this Ufa now to be something like when you are working on Microsoft Word, for example. You are working on Microsoft Word, you open the document and it's opened in one window, right? Now, you want to open another document again. It's the same Microsoft Word, but it opens in another window. This is, you can call it that window now, it can be a buffer. The other one is also a buffer. It doesn't mean that you have closed the previous window, but you can always switch between these two uh, windows. So that is how it is here. So I can switch within this particular uh, buffer here. I can go back to, uh, to and from different distance. Now, how do I do it? So Control X and then your left arrow key control x and left arrow key okay control x and left arrow key you can see that i've navigated back to the previous buffer which is pasting right that's the i've navigated to the previous buffer which is pasting now i mistakenly deleted something now so how do i actually undo it so to undo it now I'm going to just say Ctrl X and U. You see it undo. I've already undone it now. So I'm moving back to where I was, which is the session. So I'll use Ctrl X and the right arrow key and I move immediately to session. Okay, so that's the command to uh, navigating around your buffer. So, but I can actually kill a buffer. I, I can actually terminate or close down a buffer. And how do I do that? To kill a buffer, to kill a buffer, all I need to do is just to I will navigate to the other buffer, which is Control X and the backspace to navigate. Now I want to close this pasten. Now I want to close it down. That is killing a buffer. So how do I close it? I'll simply press Control H, okay, and W. So when I press Control H W, it says where is the command? Okay, fine. This particular one I'm going to say kill, okay, kill buffer, okay. And if I hit enter, kill buffer is on CXK. Okay, so CXK. This buffer should be killed. And it says kill buffer. And the default buffer that I'm going to kill, if you're you looking at the bottom of, you can see my cursor. If you take a look at the bottom, you see kill buffer. Default is pasting. It is pasting by default because this is the active buffer at the moment. Now imagine if I was on the session and then I tried to kill the person. Session would have been the default. Then I'll just have to type in the name of the buffer that I want to kill. But at this point, I don't need to type anything since I'm already on the person. So I'll just simply hit enter. And this buffer is killed. Now it says buffer person modified. Kill anyway. I'll say yes. Okay. I'll say yes. I don't need to save any changes because it was already... Uh, the original content was correct, so I'll just say yes. I'll say Y E S, yes, and then I'll hit enter, and it is killed. Now, if I try to navigate to and uh, back and front again, you find out that I no longer have that buffer. So let's try Control X and the right arrow key. Now I'm seeing a new buffer, which is messages. This one was not uh, created by me. This is just like a log that Emax uses to log uh, maybe when you encounter errors or when it's trying to uh, tell you some things that you have done. So if you take a look at it, you find out that you see new file auto saving done, blah, blah, blah. So this is just like a log of activity that has occurred and that's why I called messages. It's also a, another buffer, but I don't have to do anything with this buffer. I don't even have to care about it. The moment you, you open Emax to work on any file, Emacs automatically creates a new buffer called messages where it can tell you things you have already done. Okay, so I think the last command that was executed here was the kill buffer, which is on CX and the K. Okay, so I'm going to navigate back CX and left arrow key. Oh, sorry, CX left arrow key, and I'm back to searching. Okay, so now let me just quickly type in the answer to this and then I'll save it and and I'll leave here. So let's see if in S and then C if in W. This is actually the command to search forward. Okay. Okay. Uh it's actually a command to search forward. Once you press Ctrl S. Now if I say Ctrl R 
that is to search backward okay now the cw in front of this command is when you want to search for a word forward that means you are searching forward okay so it's not it's not really mandatory okay it's not really mandatory that you must use it okay So it is not really mandatory that you must really use it. Now to show you something now, if I put my point at the beginning here now, this is the beginning of the text and I say control S, that is CS, you can see that I can actually search for something. Now I want to search, all I need to do is just to put in the word I want to search for and I put C hyphen W. Now you can see that it has selected the word for me right so this is actually the word that i want to say now let's assume that i want to kill this region like i said earlier this selected place now this text that is selected is actually the region okay and the point is actually in front of it so i have set the region i've set the mark okay so now you can see how the search works now the next thing i'm going to do i can just decide to delete this okay i can delete it i'll just say uh, backspace okay and that is that so let me save this file to save it is cxcs so cxcs and it is saved you can see root blah, blah blah to this root so this is actually the directory it has written to it has written this command to that particular file called session so back to my internet i'm checking my code again let's be sure that what i did uh, is correct uh, it's already correct. You know, I, like I said, I've already done uh, these things before now. So, uh, all tests passed successfully. Okay, fine. So, I'm coming back again to this number six. Uh, it says, What is the command to undo? Okay, what is the command to undo? And the command to undo, what we already know, is CX and then U. So I will need to get back to my terminal and at this point, let me just close what I have done here. I'm just going to navigate out of this place, C, X and uh, C. So I'm back here. I can just do my normal echo, okay, C hyphen X and then U. And I want this to go into a file called uh, undoing undoing and i hit enter okay so let me also do the quitting as well so this one says uh, what is the command to quit emax and the answer to quit emax the answer is uh, so c i believe you already know what i'm doing here what i'm doing i'm just writing the answer straight into the file that i'm creating it on the fly okay so c x c c okay and i want this to be written inside the file called quitting right so the file called quitting and i'll hit enter so if i do ls now every file that they want me to create has been created already okay quitting saving session on doing cutting opening and all of that so let me just quickly go and check if my codes are correct so i'm starting a new test Okay, uh, let's do Chapley. So everything is correct. This one is done. Check my code. Start a new test. Oh, I made some mistakes here. Quitting. Now, what are my errors? So I'll see. Quitting is present. Okay, this one is wrong. I think I made mistake in the spelling. I made mistake in the spelling and that is why it's not working. This is quitting double T. Double T I N G. And what did I write in my terminal? I wrote single T. So you see my error now. That is why it's not working. So like we already know, this is where the knowledge of the previous video I did comes into play. I can just move this now. So what I'll just do is I'll move quitting and I'm moving it into quitting. Okay. So let me hit enter. So this corrects my 
my mistake. Let me do ls again and let's see what happens. So you see that I now have quitting. The other quitting has gone. So I now have quitting. So let me go back again and check my code. So I will check my code again now. And I will start a new test. And let's see. Alright, now every test is passed. So you see how we run into some errors because I'm doing this thing in real time. We run into some errors, we collected it together and life goes on. So like this, this is how you can tackle this your Mmax problem. Okay, you can tackle your Mmax problem. Alright, so uh, I believe this video must have done a lot for you and I believe that you learned a lot from this video. Okay. So, if you really like this video, please do well to leave a like on the video. Uh, you can comment thank you or you can share. But don't fail to subscribe. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to this video. Hit like on the video and share to your peers too to learn from it. Thank you and remain blessed. Happy coding.